Tuesday, technically our third day, but now we're now here at Belen area. Today is Christmas Day. We're planning to go out as early as possible, but today we woke up late, but it's okay. Our plan for today is to go to the Lem area, one of the district of Lisbon. From our hotel, we have to walk at least 8 to 10 minutes to Praga de Comercio, and from there we have to ride the tram. From Praga de Comercio, I believe we travel 20 minutes to the Lem. Right after you step out of the tram, you will see this magnificent structure, the Ronimus Monastery. The Hieronymus Monastery, or also known as the former Monastery of the Order of St. Jerome near the Tagus River, is the parish of Belém. The monastery is one of the most prominent examples of the Portuguese late Gothic manual in style of architecture in this month. It was classified a UNESCO World Heritage Site along with the nearby Tower of Milan in 1983. Unfortunately, the monastery is closed because of the holiday, but the church is open for viewing to the public. But because of the long queue, we decided to go back maybe later in the night or maybe in the afternoon. Just a few steps away is the Braga de Imperio. A city square and a park situated adjacent to the principal monuments and tourist attractions in the city of Parish of Milan. The park is situated in the south of Monastery of Santa Maria de Belém and west of the Central Cultural de Belém. The rectangular square is consists of successful quadrangles that structures the space into passages and green spaces. These converge in the central illuminated fountain on the square platform covering an area of 3,300 square meters. A few more steps forward, you will see the Padrao dos Descomprimentos, also known as the Monument of Discoveries. few more steps ahead, now we reach Belém Tower. Belém Tower is officially the Tower of St. Vincent. It's a 16th century fortification located in Lisbon that served as a point of embarkation and disembarkation of Portuguese explorers and as a ceremonial gateway to Lisbon. It was built during the height of the Portuguese Renaissance and is a prominent example of Portuguese manuline style. But it also incorporates hints of other architectural styles. The structure was built from the Lioness limestone and is composed of a bastion and a 30-meter, four-story tower. Since 1983, the tower has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site along with the Hieronymus Monastery. 
It is often portrayed as a symbol of Europe's age of discoveries and as Metanine of Portugal or Lisbon given its landmark status. So we managed to go inside. we need to do before we leave Belém, we need to visit this bake shop. You have probably heard of the famous Portugal tart or pastel de nata. It may be you even tried one in this one already, but you really can't come to Belém without trying one of the tart from the Pastel de Belém Bakery. It is said to be the original place where the pastel de nata was created, and a lot of people will tell you that it is still the best one you'll find. Although the original recipe is used, it is now so full of tourists that they made it bulk. There's often a long line in the street waiting to go in and buy the tart. You can find a little shop in the Lisbon border of Belém. On a daily basis, they sell approximately 20,000 tarts a day. And in the summer, the number gets doubled. It is also important to mention that the queue is so long, but a good advice is to really get early in the morning when it's not as crowded. One of the best tips I can give if you want to travel around this morning, including Belém, is to buy a 24 hours ticket and it will cost you only 2.68 euro. You can use it on all buses and tram around the city. The attraction catching all this attention is the Santa Rosa or the Elevador de Santa Rosa. 
and elaborately gothic wrought iron lift, reaching seven stories high. To a lookout of a visitor to enjoy a stunning view over the one of Lisbon's main neighborhoods. concluded our tour for the day. Thank you for joining us. Again, join us on our day 3 here in Portugal.